Amigo, este es literalmente el dinosaurio de Jurassic Park. Sí, sí saben cuál, ¿no? El que tuvo chiquito. Apparently, there's this rare species of lizard that not only looks like a dinosaur, but acts just like one. The name of it is a frilled dragon, and it looks very deadly. But despite how dangerous it looks, I found fuck? this website that sells legal exotic animals, including this dinosaur. For uh, 800 dollars? Uh, 800 dollars. So yeah, basically, I'm gonna buy this, build it at home, and try to keep it as a pet. And I don't know how hard that is gonna be. Because as you've already seen, this thing is uh, literally, uh, that, that thing's a demon. I mean, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, realmente lo venden, ya sé, hermano. O sea, literalmente igual. So buy this thing. And in this video, I'll be judging how good of a pet <laughs> a dinosaur actually is by doing stuff like taking it outside like a dog. Yeah, this video is crazy. But before any of that, I first have to wait for it to be delivered. Pero está muy chido los subtítulos, ¿no? Déjenlos ahora, ¿no? Which is going to take about a week. So in the meantime, let's build this thing its dream home with everything it could possibly want. And to do that, well, uh, I've got a lot of stuff. I first put together the glass enclosure to build the dream home inside of. And anyways, now it's time to actually build the dream home. And to do that, there is five steps, starting with creating the background. Bro, to create the background, casa, I sprayed a ton of foam all along the glass so I could stick a ton of wood to it. You see, I'm basically recreating a forest in here, since that's where frill dragons live in the wild. And to complete the forest look, I covered it in a ton of dirt and wood chips so it looked nice and natural, you know. As you can see, this tank is already looking very, very beautiful and natural with all that wood and dirt but it's also looking a bit brown and lifeless too so let's get to doing some more stuff starting with the floor now i know i was just complaining about everything being brown but um to make the floor we do got to use some brown dirt so yeah the cheapest way to get a bunch of quality dirt is to use one of these compressed coconut fiber bricks which may not seem like a lot of dirt but if we add a huge tub of water to it well uh now it's a lot of dirt finally uh -huh. i mixed in a bunch of other types of brown stuff because that's what forest floors got you know all right this is starting to look uh almost like a forest but we're still missing some key things so let's move on to step three plants and decorations now first of all i've got two different types of moss which to start i'll use carpet moss which comes Amigo, packaged Minecraft. in this box now i always thought moss was just like dead grass or something but it's actually an alive organism that over time is going to grow and overtake the entire terrarium pretty cool loco. and i also spread a different type of moss around to add a little bit more variety in this tank. Now, this moss is absolutely fantastical. You know, really piola, eh? Me gusta. Life. But I'm gonna need way more plants if I'm gonna make this thing look like the dinosaur's actual habitat. Which means I'm gonna go get some actual plants with leaves and flowers on them and, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, of course, I got in my car to go to the best plant store in town. Bruh. Which if you've seen my channel before, you already know where I'm going, baby. Place your item in the now, I had some people shaming me for going to Walmart for plants in a previous video, but clearly you guys don't understand the fantastical selection of plants they got. I mean, look at all these. Thanks, Walmart, for all these good plants. <clears throat> So I got a couple small plants, and I also got one big one that should make the dinosaur nice and happy. And while I was walking around there, le, le I also saw they had some plant Lego sets. Which, you know, I like Lego, so of course I bought some, baby. When I got home, I figured I should just build the Lego set real quick to see how those plants look. So I put that all together, and then I put each of the plants inside of the enclosure. I'd check these out. Yo, this looks so cool. Oh, qué bonito, I'm just kidding, bon. this actually looks pretty stupid. I don't, I don't know why I spent $50 on this. Get this trash out of here. Instead, I, of course, got out the plants I bought and planted them around the tank. There we go. This thing is starting to come together well now. But in order to complete the decorations, I need to add a huge piece of wood that goes diagonally from the bottom of the tank to the top of the tank. So that the dinosaur will be able to have easy access to the heat lamp <laughs> that will be that. at the top. And uh, this is the only wood I have right now. Definitely. Oigan, si estaría peor que reiban a los dinosaurios, pero en tamaño miniatura, ¿no? Estaría, estaría curioso. Not enough to get to the top. So in order to get some more wood, I went outside to find some. Okay, so I basically just need to get some sort of branch that's nice and thick and long and that. That's kind of too thin. I need something that's not going to snap under the pressure of the dinosaur. And yeah, that one kind of sucks too. But oh, this one actually looks pretty good. Look at this. It's my hand kind of wraps around it. That's good thickness. So I went inside and grabbed the biggest knife from my kitchen and I got to sign. This should only take like 30 minutes. Uh, 
I'll, I'll be done soon. Eventually, I was able to get this fantastical piece of wood that would work perfectly. So I quickly hosed it down to remove dirt and insects and stuff and brought it back inside. After breaking it down so it would fit, I put it in place and covered the bottom with some more wood. And boom, the decorations are complete in here. But of course, I'm just going to leave the table like this. We've got to first add in some technologies to make this the best enclosure ever. Starting with some water technologies. The first water technology I got is this little box, which is actually an automatic humidifier. You see, frill dragons need the humidity in their enclosure to be pretty high. And basically this, well, you know, it humidifies the enclosure by spraying water everywhere. Nice. The second water technology I got is extremely high tech. It's a water bowl. Yeah, so you know the dinosaur can get a drink of water and stuff. <laughs> Now, even though I added in this amazing water dish, frilled dragons actually never drink from it. They actually just use it as a bathroom. Uh, yeah. So to allow the dinosaur to actually get a drink of water, I got out this water pump, put it in a container of water, and linked it up with some tubing. Now, when I turn it on, it creates this nice little flow of water, which frilled dragons Amigo, el dinosaurio drink tiene mejor from. Casa que yo, one thing to build before I add the frilled dragon in, and that is heat. And basically what that means is I need to recreate the sun in this enclosure. To do that i got a heavy duty heat lamp and an expensive top quality uv bulb that recreates the same uv rays that the sun does i also got another lamp with a high intensity heat bulb because frilled dragons like it to be extremely hot in their homes to test the temperature i hooked up a thermometer and as you can see it reached up to 100 degrees in the basking spot finally i put a bit of aluminum foil on top to keep the heat bueno, it's okay, well, the frilled dragons home is now complete and uh well it's Time to add it inside. And the next day, I got a notification on my phone saying the package was ready for pickup. So I drove out to FedEx. All right, so I just got back from FedEx, and I just picked up this. No me digas que ahí dentro está. Qué carajo, por qué está en una caja sellada, hermano? Por dónde respira? Box, which uh, is probably the frilled dragon. I mean, it says live animal. Hopefully, it didn't give me the wrong package. But anyways, I'm gonna take this thing inside and put it in the cage. And, qué carajo? Oh, oh, there's some chickens right there. Bro, ¿Por qué, por qué los envían? The ¿Por qué los envían en una caja? But before I do anything like that, let's just start by opening up this box. Oh my gosh, I can kind of see the dinosaur right now, and well, it's definitely a dinosaur. Now that I have Estoy the frilled dragon, I'm gonna find out if dinosaurs are actually good pets by doing stuff like feeding it, ah. taking it outside, and even more. But first, let's get this guy in the enclosure. Oye, está bonito. Now, this may not look like a dinosaur just yet, but that's because its thing on its neck only comes out on special occasions. But trust me, I will be showing you exactly what it looks like later in the video. Okay, well, the dinosaur is in its enclosure right now. And honestly, I'm still scared to get within a five-foot radius of this thing. Like, I have no idea if this is as ferocious as those videos made it out to be. But uh, I guess we're going to find out. For now, I already know this guy is very hungry and thirsty from spending a day in that shipping container. And as you can see, his water bowl is already messed up because he was like jumping around and pooping in there like I thought he would. <laughs> so to give him a drink of water, I turned my water pump on a very low setting, which made little drops of water fall above the dinosaur. Immediately, he started to stick out his tongue and take little sips of it, which is actually pretty cool to watch. Then he just started to bask in it like he was taking a shower. Dang, maybe this guy isn't <laughs> as ferocious as I thought. He actually looks pretty chill right now. Man. Now, to feed the frilled dragon, I asked the guy I bought it from which insect is the dinosaur's favorite. And he said crickets are one of the best. So, I got a bag of some pretty big crickets. Ah, Bro, what are these guys all ah, running around asco, in It's not like you guys gonna escape. They're, they're just jumping around. Yeah, you're stupid. And literally immediately... Yo creo que esa es la parte que más detesto de este tipo de mascotas así, tipo, como reptiles o así, ¿no? Porque se les tiene que alimentar y su alimentación son insectos, güey. No podría tener una mascota... A la que le tengo que conseguir insectos, hermano. No podría, no podría. Qué asco, hermano. Qué asco, de verdad. After I put a bunch of them in, the dinosaur started to go crazy, as you can see, jumping all around the enclosure to get a nice, juicy meal. And to show you just how cool it is when the frilled dragon hunts, I hired a professional nature documentary narrator to tell you what's going on. Look at this. In this small, recreated prehistoric world, a cricket enjoys a quiet meal of moss. But nearby, <laughs> the frilled dragon, a Come creature with roots deep in ancient history, has spotted the movement. Suddenly, the dragon's head snaps towards the cricket. In an instant, it leaps forward, jaws closing around the cricket with precision. 
The cricket's meal is cut short, now being completely devoured by one of nature's best hunters. Now, as you can see, that was si uno, cool, and the dinosaur is a bear. Si uno de esos insectos se escondió bien y luego estaba a lo mejor con crías y luego se esparcen y son muchos. Y, bueno. Very good hunter. So to rank how good of a pet this dinosaur is, I'm gonna rank a bunch of different factors. And because it was super cool watching this guy drink and eat, I'm gonna give Care a nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten. That's a pretty good score. Good job, bro. But another important factor that goes into a pet being good is how friendly it is and whether or not it lets you handle it. Now dogs are the perfect <laughs> example of this. You know, they're super fluffy and nice, and they pretty much never bite you. Aww. But for real dragons, on the other hand, um, yeah, I mean, based off the videos. I've seen they are not friendly at all. All right, this is the moment of truth. Ver, I'm ver, ver. Out if this guy's gonna let me hold him and to make sure I don't get bit, I've got some hand protection as you can see. I'm just gonna well, go start by trying to pet him. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're petting him, and it seems like he's chill with that. I'm just gonna be very gentle. Oh. Okay, I got very scared there for a second, but... So, yeah, I was too scared to pick him up with my hand, so I just picked up the log he was sitting on. There you go. Good boy, good boy. Okay, <laughs> La mierda. Le destruyó su casa. El dinosaurio. Mi casa, tío. Stay right there. And there we go. Look at him. When he's out of his cage, he's doing good. He's just sitting there. Dang, but he's actually being a good boy. And the craziest thing is, is you see the frill on his neck. It hasn't even come out yet. So, usually, they put the frill out on their neck when they're super angry. But this guy, he hasn't even put it out once. He's, like, super chill with me. So, he's just letting me pet him. He's a good boy, bro. And since the dinosaur was doing so good just chilling inside, I decided I would try and bring him outside to let him explore the world. And I'm outside oh, amigo, with pero the dragon. Qué miedo hacer eso, ¿no? Porque se puede escapar. Tipo... Y deben ser rápidos. He's just basking in the sun. This is awesome. It's actually pretty cool. He's like blending in with the log. I'm pretty sure he does that to avoid any birds of prey. Because normally in the wild, they're like scared of birds attacking them. But right now, he's just blending in with the log. He's not even scared at Oye, all. Es verdad. Like I said, I was going... Amigo, bueno, no sé si tendrá esa habilidad, pero justo está mencionando eso de que se está como camuflando con con la con con esto. Going to show the frill dragon to the chicken. So I don't want him to get too stressed out, but I'm just going to kind of let him see the chickens. You see them over there? Yeah, yeah, you see the chickens, aren't they so cool? Oh, they look pretty scared. And oh, okay, they're just running away. Yeah, I think they're scared of them. Okay, I'm just going to bring them back inside. That actually went very well, and the dinosaur didn't even get mad at me once. But to be fair, Amigo, I was chill. too scared to hold him. So because of that, I'm giving friendliness a 7 out of 10. And now for the final thing that determines how good a pet is, is to see the reaction of my mom so yeah i'm gonna show it to my mom but real quick <laughs> i just want to let you know that only five percent of people are actually subscribed and i know every youtuber says this and uh i said the same thing last video but it is, is it a real soul? statistic so please just subscribe if you like this video thank you very much mom can you come in have you seen my new pet no all right so the lizard is in this giant enclosure right here do you see it yeah so yes yeah, basically right there and uh or do you know what kind of lizard it is though it looks like a little dinosaur a dinosaur boy yeah yeah that's the that's why i got it it looks like a dinosaur and guess how much it costs mm, i don't know it costs eight hundred dollars no it did not it costs eight hundred dollars <laughs> It's not even funny. It did, um, but this That's is the new, crazy. this is the new addition to the the family. All right. What's his name? It doesn't have a name. Oh, Mr. Prehistoric. You want to name him Mr. Prehistoric? Kill that battle. That's a stupid name. So what do you rate it out of ten? You're pretty cool, Prehistoric. Ten. Ten out of ten? Ten out of ten. Okay, bye. Thanks. So she actually ended up liking it and gave it a ten out of ten. That means the average score for the pet dinosaur is 8.7 out of ten. So that means this is actually a very, very good pet. I recommend it to anybody that can afford it, which is nobody because who, who's going to spend $800 on a lizard? Anyways, I know I said that the dinosaur would be showing his neck frill a lot in this video, which he hasn't yet. So to try and make him do it, I got a scary picture on my phone and showed it to him and um uh, he, he didn't really care so i tried getting another picture of a bird predator this time which um yeah he didn't care about that either so sorry guys i lied mr prehistoric is not going to show his frill in this video but that is a good thing anyways because it means he likes me and he isn't stressed at all so thank you everybody for watching today we figured out no that way no are mintió, no good mintió. Pets, which is pretty cool nunca abrió sus y si le dieron uno falladito huevón y si le dieron en realidad un cómo se cómo se llama cómo se llama el el ah cómo se dice el lizard en ah cómo se un, una lagartija y si le dieron una lagartija chat pero le pegaron así nomás cosas a los lados 
No, amigo. La estafaron.